All right guys, so we have just had the new firmware release and in the following video I will show you what features this new firmware is introducing. The main feature of this firmware is a new SAB 2.0 introduction, which is a big improvement over the previous SAB implementation. It offers more customization options and has been reworked from the scratch. Now before we go into the details of the changes, let's quickly address what SAB stands for. SAB refers to Simulate Analog Behavior, which is an exclusive algorithm for SIM devices that will make your mouse and keyboard inputs appear like those of a controller player. To understand what I mean by that, think about how you can move your character with a keyboard. You can only walk into 8 directions, just like a D-pad. It is not possible to cover the full range of an analog stick. You can only move forward, backwards or into any of the other 6 directions and it will never be possible to achieve a value in between. Next to that, the signal of a keyboard is either 0 or 100%. There is no ramp up time, so you either move at full speed into that direction or you don't. Now a controller stick does this quite differently. You can pack the stick into any direction, so you are not limited by the 8 directions of a keyboard. Any direction is possible, which is a major advantage of analog sticks. Also, unlike with a keyboard, it takes time to move the stick from the center to the side. So the walking speed has a ramp up time, in which it goes from 0 to 100%. And that is of course another major difference to keyboards. Now the idea of SAB is to remove these limitations from your keyboard. So not only will your keyboard signal start to have a ramp up time, but you will also no longer be restricted by the previous 8 directions anymore. So, your keyboard inputs will become identical to those of a controller player. But that is of course not everything. SAB also applies to your mouse movements. So, for the first time ever, it will be possible to have your mouse movements be identical to a controller stick. I will not go into any details here, because it is quite groundbreaking and any detail could be used by a competitor to copy it. But the bottom line is that you will now be able to achieve the same aim assist as a controller player. If you are a veteran ZIM user, then you will know that mouse and keyboard do not get the same amount of aim assist as controller sticks. This is because the aim assist has been programmed for analog sticks. But thanks to SAP 2.0, your mouse and keyboard inputs will now be identical to a controller stick. But SAB is also a balancing feature. Without SAB, it is technically possible to move the mouse at a speed that is above the achievable pack velocity of an analog stick. By that I mean that a stick cannot be packed as fast as you can move the mouse to the side. So the SAB 2.0 feature is also a step into a more balanced playing field. But that is of course not everything yet. SAB also applies to your trigger inputs, which are normally bound to your mouse buttons. So you get the same ramp up time as analog sticks. Now the new SAB feature is available to all new SIM devices and here you can see where to find it. As you can see you can individually adjust the three major SAB areas which are stick, movement and triggers. So it is possible to only use SAB for your character movements, your aiming or your triggers. And you can raise or lower the effect by changing the value of your desired SAB option. Overall this might be one of the biggest firmware drops in the recent years and basically any game can benefit from using it. Now in the video description you can find the download links for this firmware drop. And if you like this feature then please share your feedback in the Zim forum or the comment section. Since this is a work in progress the dev team would really like to know what you think about it. So guys, if you enjoyed the video, hit the like button or maybe even subscribe to this channel to not miss out on any of the upcoming videos. Also, contrary to popular belief, this channel is not an official Zim channel. I run this channel in my free time to bring you guys the latest Zim news and tricks. So if you want to support what I do, then maybe consider to join the YouTube channel membership. Channel members usually get around 1-4 to four weeks of early access to all new videos. Plus we also have a nice little discord to discuss sim settings and other stuff. But that's about it for this video guys. Thanks for watching and I will maybe see you in the next one.